y a maintenant euh, en France, dans le monde, in France and across paysage. the world, the landscape et, et has changed. The medical landscape, this new medical landscape, majeur, is a major subject and we need to take it into consideration when we talk about the relationship between biodiversity and health. This is not done in absolute terms, but should be uh, confronted with uh, field realities. I'm going to tell you about threats and emerging diseases. First of all, two reminders. Epidemiologic transitions, the time in our history in France, but also in most countries across the world, when the medical landscape changed almost overnight. And we also must uh, review the situation in France and across the world regarding uh, medicine uh, and uh, in order to understand the role played by biodiversity. <coughs> There have been two epidemiologic transitions uh, in our recent history. The first one was the uh, end of the 19th century, when infections started to be controlled, uh, life expectancy increased, chronic diseases, uh, age-related chronic diseases developed, multifactorial diseases. There was um, a very important time when some of ACE, a uh, Hungarian or an Austrian doctor of Hungarian origin started washing his hands. He was an obstetrician. He started washing his hands when he left the autopsy room to deliver babies. And because of this, mortality in his ward dropped extraordinarily, almost overnight. The other doctors, the other obstetricians from the other hospitals uh, or uh, other Austrians themselves in Vienna, who did not wash their hands when leaving the autopsy room, started wondering why mortality decreased uh, in uh, Summerweiss's uh, hospital. And exchanges were made, and they talked to Pasteur, who was around at the time, and they finally understood that washing their hands uh, before delivering babies decreased uh, child mortality by about uh, 80%. We keep increasing, uh, decreasing child mortality of, at birth, but nothing to do with this uh, huge change at the end of the 19th century. There is another transition more recent due to climatic changes. We have observed an increase in the incidence of uh, metabolic diseases and autoimmune diseases, and multiplication of diseases of toxic origin. The first curve, this curve is uh, done in the United States, but it would be exactly the same thing in France and in, in all the other countries. The same would apply to countries like China or India, except that uh, well, the problem was not documented over such a long period. But in the United States, for approximately three centuries, infection-related mortality has decreased. Uh, we have a peak uh, during the uh, influenza pandemic, uh, the, the famous uh, Spanish uh, influenza, which killed many people over a very short period of time. On the right-hand side of the curve, we have the HIV, AIDS, the role of which is very limited. I mean, this is a serious disease. It's really a plague. And we should not disregard the people who suffer from this disease. But in terms of figures, it is not a very high figure regarding uh, infectious diseases. Now, we have a new entity, chronic non-transmissible diseases, diseases that are age-related, but not only cancers, uh, clinical manifestations of atherosclerosis and high blood pressure, myocardial infarction, and uh, stroke, diabetes, uh, and neurodegenerative diseases. The incidence of, uh, or the, rather than the uh, number of uh, new cases every year of Alzheimer's disease is increasing by 300% every year. Same as for Parkinson. Parkinson's disease. These diseases are more frequent in developing countries, developed countries, but they are emerging very fast in developing countries. So they are age-related, but not only cancer. Well, you might wonder, what is the connection between those chronic diseases, non-transmissible diseases, and biodiversity? 
Well, well these diseases have changed entirely the landscape on, in which uh, infectious diseases uh, appear. Uh, patients for a normal GP are elderly people who may suffer from cancer or a cardiovascular disease, although the incidence of cardiovascular diseases has decreased, whom they may suffer from a neurodegenerative disease. And the incidence of uh, allergic and autoimmune diseases has been multiplied by five ever since 1950, probably due to the reduction of the number of infections. We can't cut a medical landscape in little, people, little pieces. We cannot distinguish uh, these diseases from the others. Uh, when people suffer from one of those uh, chronic diseases, it's probably due to a uh, human uh, action. There are, we have reason to believe that there is uh, an interaction between uh, prions and Alzheimer's disease. Everything is summarized in the final slide. There are 52 million people dying every year across the world. This slide is based on a beautiful research uh, global burn global burden uh, of diseases. Uh, multiple diseases are studied in 150 different countries. On the left-hand side, in blue, we have uh, infectious diseases, uh, and in red, we have non-transmissible chronic, chronic diseases, and obviously, they are twice as important than infectious diseases. They kill twice as many people, not only in developing countries, but also in uh, developed countries.